Hello students, this is session 4 of this module. Now in this session, I am going to give you the review of the lesson which we have learned. We see around us different things and those things are categorized as natural things and man-made things. Natural things are those things which we get from nature which are created by nature, which are created by God. And man-made things are made by man. The natural things can be a living thing or can be a non-living thing. Whereas man-made things are always a non-living thing. When we say living things, we mean that those things which have life in them. For example, plants, animals, fish, insects, etc. When we say non-living things, we mean the things which do not have life. Example, wood, toy, stone, sun, moon, sand, etc. Living things, features of living things are, they can move, they can grow, they can breathe, they can eat and drink, they feel and they can reproduce. The features of non-living things are, they cannot move, they cannot grow, they cannot breathe, they cannot eat, they cannot drink. They cannot feel and they cannot reproduce. Children, these are few new terms which you came across while explanation of the chapter. And I would like you to know the meaning of these new terms. Air holes. These are tiny holes along the bodies of insects that help them to breathe. Stomata. These are pores in the leaves of plants through which they take in and give out air. Reproduction. It is the process of producing more young ones of one's own kind. Copy it down in your notebook. Here are few spellings taken out from the lesson. Please write it in your copy and learn it. Now, natural things, living things, non-living things, reproduction, breathe, lifespan, adult, seedling, chlorophyll, Stomata. Children, here I am giving you few questions. You have to solve it. Solve the answers in your notebook. So first, to solve these questions, you see the video carefully of all the sessions which I have taken and answer these questions in your notebook. I am reading out the question one by one so that the questions are clear to you. Question one is, Differentiate between natural things and man-made things. Question 2. Differentiate between plants and animals. Question number 3. Why do living beings need food? Question number 4. Give an example to show that plants feed. Question number 5. How does plant breathe? Question number six, why do animals move? Here you have to do few diagrams which are related to the chapter. So do these diagrams in your notebook. Draw the breathing organs of human beings, fish and insects. Second diagram, draw the organs of movement of a bird and a 
a fish. And third diagram which you have to do is, with the help of a diagram, show the seed growing into a big plant. Children, now here I end up with my class of module living things and non-living things. So have a nice day, stay at home and be safe. Thank you.